Hi, I'm Carrie Budoff Brown with Politico. We're going to take a look at some of President Obama's most significant speeches on health care and why they mattered. Let's be the generation that says right here, right now, we will have universal health care in America by the end of the next president's first term. This became a standard line in his campaign stump speech, uh, the promise to do it by the end of his first term. But in fact, it wasn't the result of any kind of in-depth strategizing by Obama or his advisors. It was just a rhetorical device that they came up with a few weeks earlier when they decided to accept an invite to a health care conference. He didn't have a plan and he needed something to say. And we must also address the crushing cost of health care. There's a cost that now causes a bankruptcy in America every 30 seconds. By the end of the year, it could cause 1.5 million Americans to lose their homes. In the last eight years, premiums have grown four times faster than wages. And in each of these years, one million more Americans have lost their health insurance. It is one of the major reasons why small businesses close their doors and corporations ship jobs overseas. And it is one of the largest and fastest growing parts of our budget. Given these facts, we can no longer afford to put health care reform on hold. So the State of the Union address was significant because it was really the first indication that he gave as president that he would pursue health care in his first year. And this was surprising because he was in the midst of a financial crisis, but he was signaling here that he was going to tackle it nonetheless. I am not the first president to take up this cause, but I am determined to be the last. The time for games has passed. Now is the season for action. Now is when we must bring the best ideas of both parties together and show the American people that we can still do what we were sent here to do. Now is the time to deliver on health care. Now is the time to deliver on health care. So this joint session of Congress came after a terrible August recess when it looked like health care reform would not survive. The president decided to put all his chips on the table, address Congress, and hope that he could inject enough life into it that he would get it out of the Senate and back through the House. Now it probably goes without saying that tonight's vote will give rise to a frenzy of instant analysis. There will be tallies of Washington winners and losers. Predictions about what it means for Democrats and Republicans, for my poll numbers, for my administration. But long after the debate fades away and the prognostication fades away and the dust settles, what will remain standing is not the government-run system some feared or the status quo that serves the interests of the insurance industry, but a health care system that incorporates ideas from both parties a system that works better for the American people. So when the president signed this bill into law, he had expected Republicans to back off, to stop fighting Obamacare. In fact, it signaled the start of a next, more difficult phase in the fight. So here's how this is going to work. We're setting up a new online marketplace where beginning October 1st, you can go online, or talk to uh, organizations in every state that are going to have this set up, and you can then comparison shop an array of private health insurance plans. You can look at them side by side, just like you'd go online and compare cars. So this speech marked the president's final push towards the start of the enrollment period. And after years of trying to move uh, the poll numbers on Obamacare through speeches and events, here he's boiling down the message to something very simple. Go on the websites, sign up for the health care, and give the law a chance. Thanks for watching, and to read more of our coverage on the Obamacare implementation, please go to politico.com.